Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at the 2023 Subaru Crosstrack Sport. This is actually the first 23 that we received and we don't get a whole bunch of black vehicles so this is kind of cool. Uh, it's got a ton of metallic. I think it's crystal black silica is the name. So Sport in Canada, first trim level that comes with the LED steering responsive headlights. You can see there's that little LED strip around for your running lights. You do have LED fog lights. Sport is one step under our limited. It is essentially one step under fully loaded. Now, the Sport in Canada, since we've had a Sport trim level since 2013, comes with the two liter four cylinder engine. In the States, our outdoor is called the Sport. Our outdoor is comparable with their Sport. So just for any confusion there. 17 inch wheels, same as all trim levels with the exception of the outdoor and the limited. But yeah, the black looks super sleek. It accentuates those body lines really, really nicely. At the back here, in the rear of the Sport, you do get those little black circles. Those are the backup sensors. They'll actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Terrifying when it works, but it's the best thing ever. Lots of room. People don't expect there to be nearly this much room in a Crosstrek. Privacy cover hides everything from the top of the seats down. Easy to retract, also very easy to remove. It's just a telescopic piece right there. Now, we do have grocery bag hooks all over. You can also get cargo nets that tie to those, but grocery bag hooks hook your, the loop of your grocery bag, stops them from tumbling around, it's great. Cargo light, you can turn it off or you can have it shut off when you close the door. And then underneath here, we have our spare tire, our tow point, if you ever need to pull someone out or hang a hammock. And in the event that you did need more storage, these seats do go virtually flat. You just lift on this and push and a little bit of an angle, but virtually flat and both sides do flip. In the second row here, tons of room in the second row, like great headroom, great leg room. I'm 6'2", body, to, or torso legs proportion, I fit comfortably. My head's not touching the roof. In the Sport, you get the Sport cloth, which is a little bit more textured than the cloth you would find in the Touring or the Convenience. Orange stitching in all of them, except for the Convenience and the Outdoor. The Outdoor is that yellow. You get orange and everything else. Sport's the first trim level where you get the tilt and slide sunroof. We do have the ability to lock and unlock the door based on the proximity key. If I press and held the lines, it would just beep at us right now because it's running and it won't lock. And to unlock it, when it's not running, you just walk up, put your hand in the handle. Works really, really well. Power windows, locked mirrors, as you would expect. The Sport is also the first trim level where you get the power driver's seat. And of course, a little bit of bolstering. It's quite nice. I find these seats very supportive, very comfortable. I like the Sport cloth a lot. I wouldn't say it's any more durable than any other cloth that we have in the lineup, but it is a little bit more textured and it feels very nice. On the inside here, by the driver's left knee, we have the ability to turn off the steering responsive headlight. So if you don't like the headlight swiveling when you're driving, when you turn left or turning right, you can turn that off. Brightness for the gauges, traction control, start stop deactivation, and we have blind spot detection. So when I turn off blind spot, you can see a little orange light there. Pretty much anything on Subaru's dash in orange means caution or something's deactivated. Now, when I turn uh, blind spot detection on, those illuminate orange. So that's what it looks like when someone is in your blind spot or going to be in your blind spot on the corresponding side. It doesn't eliminate shoulder checking, but it's a great aid and they actually put it on the side of the housing so you don't have to worry about someone having like yellow lights behind you and you can't see it in the mirror. It's very, very cool. I like it a lot. Now, on the steering wheel, one of the first things that people say to me is the steering wheel is small and it's very, very busy, lots going on. It is a little bit smaller, especially if you're coming out from an older SUV or a pickup, but it's telescopic as well as tilt. So you can adjust it for pretty much a person of any height. Now, the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can switch from AM to FM to CD to satellite. You can switch presets, switch songs, volume up and down. Info will change the little information display up top there. I'll show you that in a moment. These arrows right here, change your small center display. It gives you a bunch of different information. I personally like the digital speedometer myself. It makes it a little easier to read. And the way I sit, the steering wheel actually cuts off part of the analog one, so that's a benefit. Now with the Sport, you do, Sport Automatic, you do get the adaptive cruise. So the cruise that follows at a set distance behind the vehicle ahead of you if you catch up. And lane centering. 
So you can see that there's four bars ahead of the cross track there, all the way down to one. That's the follow distance. Four bars at 100 kilometers an hour is roughly 150 to 180 feet behind that vehicle. And I've just turned off and back on the lane centering. Both of those systems use these two color stereo eyesight cameras, Subaru's eyesight system. So if the cameras can see the road lines above 60, it'll illuminate whichever side it can see. You can see there's those little gray lights or lines. Th those will illuminate white on whichever side it can see. And then the steering wheel will actually, oh, the vehicle will actually give you gentle steering input. It's a pretty cool feature. It's a really big help on longer distance drives the second half of your day. Two different drive modes, you've got intelligent and sport. So intelligence for every day, sport, a little bit more spirited. And you can see bottom left next to the P for park, says S for sport, I for intelligent, and those lines change. The blue's a little bit more linear, the yellow's a little bit more aggressive, a little sharp. So it does make a difference. All important heated steering wheel. Don't know if you can see it, but there is a faint orange light there, off, on. Now it does not heat between the seams just kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands, which eh, it is what it is, but it's better than not having one at all. Now, this little information screen up top here, you can cycle through it with the info button and it gives you a bunch of different pieces of information. What safety tech's on, fuel economy, where your all wheel drive's being split, weather, bunch of different info. I personally like the water temp, oil temp one myself. It's also where climate control displays. So low is 18, shows you the fan strength there and it goes as high as 32. Freezing to tropical, depending how you and your pastures like it. I'm putting it back down because it is rather hot. Hotter than 20 degrees Celsius in the sun. Get your eight inch touch screen. It is all easy to use, or you have the physical buttons down here. Access to the My Subaru app, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. CD player is right here. I know, kind of well hidden. And when you put it in reverse, backup camera pops up, shows you the top of the bumper so you have something to relate to. Rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on. It's great. Down below here, you have your climate controls, temperature, fan strength, where you'd like your airflow directed. Underneath that, you have your little media cubby. It's rubberized, so you don't slide around. Two USBs, an auxiliary, and a 12 volt for all of your charging and music listening needs. You do also have Bluetooth streaming, of course. Automatic transmission. You do have the ability to select your own gears up or down, if you want. Heated seats, high and low for the driver and passenger, and with the cloth, they heat up really, really quickly. This is where you activate X mode. So X mode takes you to the off-road screen and X mode pops up there. It's like four by four low in a pickup. That's kind of Subaru's equivalent to that. Up here, you've got access to the SOS and roadside assistance buttons. That's part of the three-year trial to the connected services you get with most new Subarus. And then right here, lane sway and automatic emergency braking. Both of those use the two cameras. Lanesway will beep at you if you start changing lanes without signaling. That is designed to stop you from hitting the person ahead of you. And you actually save 10% on your basic ICBC insurance here in BC. And then tilt and slide sunroof and your controls here and here. So that's a brief video overview of the 2022 Subaru Crosstrek Sport with the two liter four cylinder engine. Sorry, 2022, I'm used to saying that. It's actually 2023, my apologies. So 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Sport. Um, no changes to it, as opposed to the 22 models, no differences. But if you guys have any questions about anything you saw in this video or any vehicles in the Subaru lineup, please put the questions in the comments below. I do try to get back to all comments and questions about the Subaru vehicles. So again, I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. I'll talk to you guys soon.